name's Lucy from Advanced Dentistry. Today I'm going to talk about some options for you if you unfortunately have a missing tooth. This may be due to an accident, decay or gum disease. So you might be thinking, well what next? So hopefully this information I share with you today offers some options that you can look at that best suits you. The first option is to do nothing. And initially this can seem quite compelling, especially if we're looking at a back tooth that's missing because it's not visible. However, there are problems associated with, with this option. The only benefit really is that there's no money being spent. The problems associated with doing nothing, firstly, it's around how you bite and the alignment of your teeth. So if we think of your teeth like books on a bookshelf. When one book is removed, the others start leaning in. This causes a lot of problems to the way that your teeth sit and join together on the upper and lower arch. The opposing tooth to the one that's missing starts shifting downwards into that space, which means that your teeth are moving down in an awkward shape. Another big problem associated with doing nothing means that the bone where the tooth is missing starts melting away. Research tells us that within the first year of losing a tooth, 25% of the bone will melt away in that area. The second option to consider is a partial denture. So it looks something like this. It's not a fixed solution. It will need to come out at night time because of the bacteria that will breed. Having an option like this means that your biting force significantly decreases. So when you're out at a restaurant, you're eating food, things like steak, pizza, will need to be cut up into smaller pieces because your teeth won't be able to hold that, that biting force. Essentially meaning food being swallowed without properly being chewed. The other downside with the denture option is that that bone continues to melt away. The third option is the bridge. Now in the past, this was the most common solution to dealing with a missing tooth. But what we now know is that one in five cases lead to decay. So how a bridge works is the partial denture is dealing with a single tooth, but to have a bridge that is secure and permanent solution, we need to actually affect the two adjacent teeth to the missing tooth. These two adjacent teeth could be perfectly healthy teeth, but what needs to happen is they need to be ground down in order to securely place the bridge on top to fill that missing space. There's a few problems associated with this, which is where we see the decay happening. Because these three porcelain teeth here are looted together, it makes it very difficult to floss and clean in between the, the gaps here. So bacteria starts building up. The other problem is that under this missing tooth, where your natural tooth was, we're continuing to see that bone melt away progressively. The fourth option to consider is a dental implant. The dental implant addresses all of the problems associated with the other options. So what is a dental implant? A dental implant is a titanium screw, which is like an artificial tooth root that goes into the bone and stimulates that bone, which means the bone loss stops. The crown then goes on to the dental implant and the other fantastic benefit of this is the two adjacent teeth, which with a bridge may have needed to, they need to be ground down, are kept strong and healthy, meaning good cleaning between the teeth and less chance of decay. Dental implants have proven to be a fantastic long term solution for many patients. The first titanium dental implant was placed in a patient in 1952 and we've continued to see the ongoing success of dental implants and fantastic outcomes for patients.
This has been a quick overview of some options available if you have a missing tooth. Please feel free to contact me at Advanced Dentistry Sydney if I can help you with anything else.